Thank you, Bob. Uh, my name is Sally Bauman, and I'm here interviewing Paula Boggs at the Maine Human Resources Convention 2015. Welcome, Paula. Hi, Sally. Nice to have you here. It's Thank great you for to be joining here. us. I had a very great opportunity to hear you speak a few minutes ago, and it was exciting to me because part of what we do in human resources here in Maine is we are trying to identify that our population is older. Mm -hmm. and a lot of conversations are held about young people and keeping them in the state and keeping them working yet you were talking about Encore careers absolutely and I was very interested in that and tell me how that became interesting to you and what you did in your life that was an Encore career sure well you know part of it Sally is there really isn't that much difference between our youngest workers and those of us who are boomers in terms of what we want out of our careers mm -hmm. uh, and, and what we want out of life at the end of the day. And so, you know, part of my message is, you know, don't put me as a boomer in a box uh, that says I'm somehow different uh, from um, a Gen X or why worker because like them I want flexibility mm -hmm. like them family is important like them I have passions that I'm trying to balance with whatever uh, the workplace is demanding of me and for me personally uh, I had a career uh, for for 30 years in, in law and business. I leapt from that a couple years ago uh, to start a new life chapter that includes leading a rock band, Hellebog's band, uh, and also really honing in uh, on my passions for music and education more broadly in ways I simply couldn't do when I was general counsel of a Fortune 500 company, namely Starbucks. Right. That's excellent. Um, and I, so we have your CD here, which yes. is exciting. <laughs> and this has just come out. Um, and you're on tour. I am on tour. You're on tour. And we, we hope to come to Maine. But we're already being played on non-commercial Maine radio stations yes. throughout the state. And, and I'm really excited about and, that. And some of us listen to that. One of them, WERU, is the station that's playing. So yes. I was excited to hear that. Absolutely. Yeah, we're happy with that. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, as a leader, and your leadership experience, and how that helps you lead a band, the Paula Boggs Band. Happy to share that. Well, you know, when I was at Starbucks, I was leading a global organization, 15 offices around the globe, and over 200 people. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I lead a rock band of six members, but uh, it's still about managing diversity, uh, diversity in life experience, diversity in expectations, uh, making sure everybody's on the same page, rowing in the same direction, uh, you know, with, you know, a close enough, uh, similar eye on the prize. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of those things, and people, like in the world of work, traditionally don't always show up on time, uh, don't always meet expectations. Right. <laughs> um, sometimes they exceed uh, expectations, and, you know, rewarding people for that uh, you know, the band members have to get paid on yes. time. Yes. I mean, the, you know, there are many different uh, things I see that remind me of my past life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, they, and the generations are different. I looked at the photograph of the band, and yes. so you have age differences. We, we have um, tremendous age diversity. Uh, there are four of us who are I guess technically boomers, mm -hmm. uh, but our youngest band member is barely 30. Yeah, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me, you have some experience in Maine from your past. Yes. And so this is not your first visit, and so you've returned. What have you seen, well, first maybe you could tell us a little bit about your past in Maine, and then what have you seen different? I know you've just come in last night to the Samoset, so you haven't been in town very long, but yeah. are you seeing things different when you flew into Portland or drove into Portland? Yes, well, 
I was here, you know, 30 plus years ago as a, as a law student. I did uh, an externship in Portland for a federal judge uh, uh, the first semester of my third year of law school. Yep. I was at UC Berkeley at the time, and so I traveled, you know, 3,000 plus miles across the country to do this. You know, in the ensuing 30 years, there, there are a couple things uh, about Portland that strike me. One is, you know, it's grown up more in the sense that uh, there are, you know, more restaurants. It, it has, it still has its Portland charm, but it's become more, a more sophisticated city over the past 30 years. And, you know, the second thing I, I've noticed is it's, it's actually a more racially diverse city uh, today than it was 30 years Absolutely. ago. Absolutely, yes. And we're glad of that. It's a great yeah. population. Portland's a wonderful yeah. place to visit. Good. Uh, we have an opportunity that we're going to be on uh, a YouTube video for the Strategic HR, uh, yeah. our YouTube channel. And I was wondering if you have a message to people that have not been able to go to the conference because they're back at their office doing their work <laughs> and they can't get away. And sometimes that's because they may not uh, have the support of an organization that understands the value of getting out, meeting new people, training and, and development opportunities, and the social connection that human resources can bring. Um, if you have a message that you might be able to share with people about where you can get that shared experience from others, and it doesn't have to only be at a conference. Absolutely. One of the wonderful things about the, the digital age is often uh, People are only a click away, no matter where uh, they are uh, physically uh, on, on the planet. And so, you know, I would encourage the, the folks watching this to, uh, to explore what it means to have an encore career through, through a variety of resources that are readily available including there's there's an organ there's uh, encore.org uh, one could go to and there are a lot of uh, other resources including AARP yes. uh, that uh, speak to this phenomenon uh, we're seeing in our society of more and more people deciding uh, to end one chapter of work begin another and in so doing, the hope is finding more meaning in their life. Great. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming to join us. Hope you enjoy the rest of your visit in Maine. And people should go online because you can download this as well as purchase the CD of Absolutely. Paula Boggs Band. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sally. Thanks. Thank you, Bob.